Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Lawrence behind the camera. I'm on my way to a uh, wayside correctional facility in, uh, I believe it's uh, Santa Clarita. All right, so but first, let's get some breakfast at Mickey D's. Here we go. Yeah, what I forgot to tell you is that um, before I go to the Wayside Correctional Center, I'm going to do a little vlog on the quote-unquote oldest house in Los Angeles. Let's go see what it's all about. Avila Adobe. This is the oldest existing house in Los Angeles, built about 1818 by Don Francisco Avila. It was occupied briefly as American headquarters in 1847. Severely damaged in the earthquake of 1971, that house is now restored as an example of the California lifestyle of the 1840s. El Adobe Avila es la casa más vieja en Los Angeles. Here we go. Excuse me. I wonder if this is our original. Better be. You don't mind if I have some questions for my YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hi, my name is Lawrence. Okay. Um, what can you tell me about this house? This house was actually built in 1818, so yeah. this year it actually makes 200 years old now. This house used to be a lot bigger. It's uh, 15 rooms, we're down to six. The reason why is because of the earthquake of 1971. It was right. called the Dumbo earthquake. Mm -hmm. Destroyed most of this house. The reason why it got destroyed is because this house was pretty sturdy. This house from the back, so most of the house was destroyed from the back side. I believe thirty percent of the adobe is still original, the rest right. is not. Right. So my opinion, the front part of the house is still original while the back is not. Right. Is everything here original? Everything inside? Yes, it's original to that time period, but not the family. Yeah. So that's from 1840s, 1850s, but the families that belong to are not here anymore. Right. This house has been through a transition from a family vacation home to a military base and headquarters, then to a boarding school. That's your Italian restaurant and now museum. Okay, then. Uh, yeah. So now you might notice that there's a lot of religious artifacts. That's yeah. where the family would be used to go to the cat. Right. 
Yeah. Right. And low fun fact, all their streets used to be called a different white street. But fun fact, then these towns are called cellars. Right. And who built this house? Uh, oh, that's a uh, uh, cattle rancher. Okay. Was he a? Uh, okay. So, okay. Uh, Francisco Alabama. Okay, cool. All right, then. Thank you for the information, all right? All right. Doesn't look original. What is this in here? Exhibitions, History of Water in Los Angeles, a tribute to Christine Sterling. Hi. What is this right here? This is deer fur. Uh huh. Deer? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. deer? Oh, uh, venado. Venado. Yeah. And what is this all about right here? So, um, this is the ceremony. I'm with the National Park Service. Okay. And we're just, we just pop up teaching people about different wildlife in the Santa Monica Mountains. Right. Which is where I work. Uh huh. Which is the ma national park I work for. Mm -hmm. So, this is like deer fur, deer skulls. This is mountain lion stuff. This is a skull of mountain lion, and then these are some pictures. This is the color we used to track them. Right. Yeah, a uh, paw print cast. And this is a replica of the like blow darts we used to tranquilize them. Right. So we can put the color on. Uh, is it, are you all familiar with the uh, San Gabriel Mountains? Um, or at the San Monica. San yeah, Monica. San Monica Mountains. Uh, there is an, under another group working with the San Gabriel, but that's okay. not the one I know. Yeah. I don't know much about those. Because I'm supposed to do a hike in that uh, San Gabriel Mountain, uh -huh. and I want to make sure that there's not a lot of mountain lions, so you know. Um, there could be, yeah. but as long as you guys make, you know, you're not like super quiet. They tend to avoid people, uh -huh. so if they hear you, they'll, they'll scram. They, they, they do. Yeah, they avoid people. Should I take uh, some pepper spray just in case? Um, I think, to be honest, I don't know. I mean, you could, mm -hmm. but if you're with close enough to spray and that Yeah, land, exactly. I don't think you want yeah, to get exactly. any closer. Yeah. You just, so if you do encounter one, mm -hmm. you so just make noise when you're on the hike, like talk uh, and stuff okay. like that. Um, and if you do run into one, what you want to do is make yourself look as large as possible. So if oh. you have like a coat, you like you know expand it. Okay. Stand like up. Like raise really my tall, hands or something. Make noise. Okay. And try to intimidate it. Don't run. Don't run. Because they're or at least don't run immediately because their instinct is to chase. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So don't just hightail it, or then they'll be like. Exactly. Like, where are you going? Yeah, but usually, it, you know, they'll just run because they don't, they don't like to interfere with humans because they don't want to eat you. Mm -hmm. They don't eat people, so they have really no interest. They only will attack you if they think you're threatening them. Okay. Yeah. So just make noise and uh, just be cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay yeah. then. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.
Okay, you guys, there you go. The oldest house in Los Angeles. The Avila Adobe, Adobe House. Here we go. All right, you guys, so uh, on my way to Wayside Correctional Facility, uh, I'm gonna do an audit. Uh, wish me luck. See what's up, all right? Here we go. Hey, you guys. I've arrived to, um, it's called, it's really called uh, Peaches, Peaches Detention Center, uh, quote unquote, um, Wayside. I'm right here. I don't know if anybody has uh, done an audit here, but once, a, once again, um, it's the Pitches Detention Center. In the city of, uh, I think it's Santa Clarita. This is the ambulance. Wonder what happened. Are they arriving? Maybe? Alright, let's go. Let's go get closer to the bus right there. Excuse me. Have a question. I want to take pictures of the area, the mountains, and everything. Is it okay? I don't see why I wouldn't do it, but if you hurt the guy, then the guy's just got the guy in the shack right there. The shack right there? Okay. I just wanted to make sure, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you uh, is the parking lot, is that public? No. It's not for the public? No. So it's not okay if I set up my tripod and take pictures of the area? Is that okay? No, it's not. Why is that? Because you have to. Uh, well, first of all, who am I speaking with, and why are you filming right now? I didn't give authorization for that. No, I'm just, that's why I want to ask you. Okay. Well, and I informed you that this is not public land. It's not public. That no. parking lot is not public. How did you get here? By my car. Okay. It's parked over there. Okay. Yeah. So why are you filming me? Why is it necessary to film this conversation? It's from a YouTube channel. I'm doing a, a documentary. Okay. Well, you're not on a public land. Okay. 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 All right. And the signs are posted on the road up corners. here. Yeah. As well there that this is not public Go property. Okay. And anybody that enters this property is subject Take to search. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I thought you were talking about the fence right there. No, no, the no, gate. no, no, no. It's posted when you turn on that road. Yeah. Okay. That you're on jail property on when, you, uh, when you enter that road. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know that. That's what the sign said. Okay, so uh, I took a chance to go all the way inside there and talk to the to the cop. Um, 
I wasn't sure if uh, I was entering public, I mean, my, my bad, um, private property. So, um, he was trying to get crazy. I think he wanted to ask me for my ID and stuff. Talking about, uh, as soon as I come in through there, I'm subject to be searched. He didn't search me. But, uh, I wasn't sure about this place, what is private and what is public. So uh, I didn't want to take no chances. Here we go.